When looking for RC products on the web, check out rcdeal.com. This segment is sponsored by rcdeal.com. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're here to introduce a new product in our Pico lineup. Of course, if you haven't heard about it yet, uh, it is a new motor that we offer in the 21 size category. It is the new Pico Boost engine. Of course, this is a Pico engine with a combo kit of a uh, performance pipe from Pico himself. Um, it is a new combo that we've offered in buggy. It's the first time we've offered it in buggy. Uh, we've done it in the on-road on uh, lineup, so now, we've, now we're doing it for the off-road. Um, as we get into this motor, we're going to show you some um, new concepts in the motor, new details on the motor, revised carburetor, and uh, the actual performance pipe that comes with it. So um, this part number is a 51. It's a, yeah, it's a 51212 part number. Its face value is 479.95. Of course, the street price on this uh, engine is a lot better than that. I believe that the street price is valued at under 300, uh, anywhere from 275 to 300. Um, and that is the combo kit with the performance pipe with it. So we'll get into details with this Pico Boost motor and we'll show you what's in the box and show you what you get as you make the purchase for this. We get into the Pico Boost motor, we open it up and we take the uncover this. Of course, it's still sealed in its other box, the secondary box with the, the sticker on it, actually the retail value of it. And as we open this and we look inside, you have a decal sheet of the Pico engine. Um, the Pico Boost details on it. Of course, this is a really nice uh, uh, decal in there. So if we request for more, if we get requests for more, we might establish that as a part number. Also in your box, you're gonna get your instruction manual, of course. Uh, this is directly from Pico himself. And we also add the secondary manual that we used to, that, uh, that we've already teched on for it. So as you open this up, you'll see the exploded view of the, of the product itself. This is actually a different one versus the one that we have that we show in the manual when you, when you first purchase it. So this is an explosive view, but usually on our backside or our second page, you're gonna show the uh, breakdown procedures or the breaking procedures and the explosive view and our actual part numbers that you could purchase if you need to get replacement parts. So um, <clears throat> Pico manual itself and our one page setup on the manual. Um, also, we're gonna get into more details into this. Of course, you're gonna see in here that in the long box, you're gonna see uh, pipe, engine itself and also header pipe and just below that is the carburetor itself. So we'll pull out the header back package in here and of course if you're looking at the header package it's a polished header along with two exhaust and some springs and couplers and set screws in there. Um, and this is so you could get the, the pipe mounted and um, springed up so you have this as a whole all one piece combo on there. And then we'll get into the pipe itself of course it's bubble wrapped in the packaging itself so it doesn't get scratched up and if you're looking at this pipe it already has the EFRA uh, coded emblem on there of 2046 and it has the Efra legal insignia on there and hopefully we'll get a really good uh, picture shot of that and see that and that is a highly polished pipe of course um, it also has a very long stinger on it and if you're looking at the stinger itself it is almost shaped like an 086 so this pipe is very very crisp very very uh, uh, robust sounding and has a lot of power coming out of it so I've already heard it already once two weeks ago it sounded really really good uh, this pipe combo with this engine is going to make a really good performance package for, for what you're purchasing it for so you don't have to run around and buy another pipe. So you get this with the engine, you'll get a killer deal. Also looking at this, and we'll get a close up of this of course, is the carburetor itself. This carburetor has been revised. Um, it has some uh, revisions on it that you might not see through the, the carburetor itself. And of course that's going to be the needle itself. The needle has been revised with a smaller bore hole in it. So you get more run time or fuel time into the system, but without adding the extra amount of torque. So you get a smooth, crisp feel and acceleration, but yet you get the run time to go with it. Um, installed it already is a seven millimeter carb Venturi vent, but also on the side of the package here is a six millimeter. We have not offered the six millimeter Venturi before, so now it comes in the system. But if you want the optional eight, we will also offer that as a separate part number. Of course, the detail on the carburetor is blue to go with the Pico head itself. So you'll notice that that is uh, the newest revision in it. Of course, this is already cousin to the JPX21 Plus carburetor, and the JPX21 Plus only has the seven mil carb, but you'll be able to get the six from this Pico also to fit it in there too. So if you've got jamming motors, you'll be able to do that too. We'll put that down and we'll look into the motor itself. Of course, we'll move this box aside. Your Pico Boost motor 
out of the package. There's going to be really nice machine finished uh, work on there. You're going to notice that there's a lot of laser etching on it. Of course, the boost emblem on there at the bottom of the block and some uh, really crazy looking tribal looking insignias on there on the block also. Um, as you look into the back of the engine, you're going to notice that the back plate has been lightened. Of course, if you've had the generations before, they were also blue uh, etched or uh, blue anodized in the back. Um, but they weren't lightened like they were back here. Of course, you can see all the CNC cutting here just to add, take off some of the extra weight. Um, you'll notice that it also has a marking on the top to let you know that this is where you need to put your back plate in the right upside position so you don't do any piston damage as the piston rotates to the bottom. The other thing that's detailed on it, of course, is the exhaust port. The exhaust port is bigger. It adds more torque on there, and um, it's almost the size of the 28, also with a new exhaust coupler gasket on there. Um, and if you're looking in here, um, there's two, one for the pipe, one for the exhaust, and then this is the spare one that's already installed on the engine. So you get three exhausts on there, but one is for the pipe and one is for the exhaust, and then you get another spare. The other detail that's changed on this, of course, is a new concept in the Pico motor, is actually a two-piece cooling head. Um, the raw finish at the bottom is actually uh, part of the cooling head, but it's more part of the head button. So this piece is uh, inducted okay. into the head button, so yeah. you will get this uh, optimal cooling to the glow plug directly from the, the, the fins from here from the head button onto the glow plug. The secondary part of the cooling head, and if you notice in a different angle, is that the, the head has been milled out in the holes, several different holes in here to lighten it, but it also helps dissipate the, the, the heat even faster. So from the older setups on there, where they were all finned um, with no holes in it, now the concept now is that if you could get air in that hole, it dissipates the heat faster. And looking at the top of the engine itself, the Pico Boost motor, has uh, Pico embroidery on it or laser etching on it with the boost and the tribal insignia on it again to let you know that this is a fierce motor and that it's a highly competitive Italian performance motor. And if you're looking down there, it is a turbo head button. Of course, these engines don't come with uh, glow plugs in there, so you're gonna have to get some glow plugs to go with this. We offer three different heat ranges of glow plugs from hot, medium to cold. And we offer in uh, single package glow plugs and also in 12 pack. Bulk, it, uh, bulk packaging so you can give us a call on that and we can give you uh, part numbers on both single and bulk packaging on it um, the crank has also been revised of course we're not going to open this up and get into detail with that uh, the crank has been uh, done up and it's been uh, nice and machine and also epoxy balance and if you could get I don't know if you could get in there because I don't think you can see in the lighting but there's actually epoxy down into the bottom of the crank um, you really can't see it I was trying to get the best view I can on there but there is some uh, epoxy balancing in there um, so you can get more runtime on there and more efficiency and a lot more power band out of the motor. So this is a really serious high performance motor um, from Pico, the Pico Boost. It is a three port with a two port bypass on there um, and full performance out of the package. Of course, like I said, this is not going to break the bank like it did before with the other high performance engines out there that are putting $500 plus on the market. This one, like I said, you probably get a street value of about $290 with the pipe. Um, and that is a killer deal that you can't beat anywhere else. Um, it also comes with the spring, uh, the exhaust springs that are the shortened version of it instead of wrapping all the way around, but there is an option to wrap around, but you also get the shortened header springs to go with the performance pipe. So with these two pieces in mind, um, in the performance uh, area of Italian Motors, we have the Pico Boost that's going to show that it's out there for a highly competitive market at the killer price. Um, as we put this motor down, we also want you to remind we all also want to remind